Oh my god, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I'm just gonna eat my mango. I got a couple of requests for me to react to Happiest Season on Hulu, but unfortunately, I already watched that movie the day that it came out. I still want to react to a holiday movie on this channel. A movie that I have been really, really wanting to watch for a long time is Last Christmas. It's been a year since I saw the trailer. I didn't want to see it again so that I could kind of come into it new. But from what I remember, the story is about a girl who hasn't really been spending her life to the fullest extent, despite having a near-death experience where she had to get heart surgery. Then she meets this guy who she keeps on bumping into throughout the movie, who is gonna teach her, I guess, like the meaning of Christmas or like how to embrace your life and like love your life and cherish what you have. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a plot twist in the movie. My theory is that the guy is gonna turn out to be a ghost or her guardian angel or whatever. The point is he's dead. It's gonna turn out that the new heart that she has actually belonged to him. Hence the meaning of Last Christmas where the song goes, Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. And then he's gonna disappear forever and I'm gonna cry my eyes out even though I totally saw it coming from a mile away. And that's my theory. Before I start watching though, I do want to say thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. I've been working with them for a while. They are a completely customizable service. You get to personalize everything towards you from your hair type to your hair goals to even the name printed on your bottle. They don't use any sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. It is 100% cruelty free and vegan. I bleach my hair very often, which means that it is a hot mess. And fortunately, I've been using Function of Beauty throughout the year. It's been really helping my hair goals on fixing the brassiness in my hair and also fixing the split ends. The latest batch that I got include shampoo and conditioner with a peach fragrance in different colors. I also got body wash and body lotion with that same fragrance since my skin gets dry during winter. And lastly, I got a hair mask with a new fragrance they released called Isn't She Bubbly, which is a champagne and citrus scent that's only available for a limited time. Every order comes with free stickers to make your bottles your own, as you can see from how I decorated it. So you can get the new winter stickers that are perfect for the upcoming season. I've been recommending these products for months now. So if you haven't already, you can check out the link in my description below to get 20% off of your first set. Now let's watch the movie and cry our eyes out. What are you? Psychic. Look deep into my eyes. Yeah. I already know what her love interest is supposed to look like, but even if I had no prior knowledge, I would already tell that these two would not be a couple because for one thing, they have the same exact hairstyles. This actress is not in Game of Thrones anymore, okay? They're not brother and sister. Moon and gorgeous. Ew! Get him the hell out of here. We are not in this movie for this fool. We are in this movie for the hot Asian guy. Man, her life really was tragic before she met him. It's okay, you have better lays. Ooh, I wonder if she'll be able to get laid with a ghost. <gasps> Surprise! Guess we got back from the conference a day early. God, I've missed you. <gasps> oh my God! Who is even surprised that he's a slimy cheater? You can tell he uses two-in-one shampoo and conditioner together. Last Christmas. Here we go, last Christmas. Ooh, I love her fur coat. Last Christmas. I like this girl. <laughs> There's just a lot to relate to so far. I don't know why, but I just find it so endearing to watch a movie where the main female character is such a fuck up. Like her life is in shambles. She is such a hot mess. I think it's because I feel a certain solidarity when I see that. There's just a sense of comfort when you see a girl going through it because you're like, me too, bitch. Me too. We're gonna get through this together. It's not funny, class. It's incredible how unfunny it is. Me walking through my day-to-day -day life while using humor as my coping mechanism for depression. Oh, I gave you my heart, so but the very next day... Oh wait, this is Kids Bob. That's probably how I sound like singing in this video. <gasps> oh my god, don't do that. Why is she so against furries? You are never early. What are you up to? Wait a minute, okay, another prediction. Is this woman gonna turn out to be the main guy's mom? 
Or is that racist of me to say? <gasps> okay, this will either go one of two ways. Either I'm the racist one or the movie is a racist one. Let's find out. You need to take care of yourself better. Sandra, I didn't know you cared. I don't care. I just don't want you to drop that in front of the customers. This is very accurate Asian woman representation. It's not that I care. It's just that we don't have enough tinsel to cover your corpse. You're dying during work hours? I don't think so. I don't know. You're gonna have to help me decide. <gasps> a Karen in the flesh. I bet this year in 2020, she's still not wearing a mask. <gasps> There's her boo. He's so cute already. Yeah, take another peek. Take another peek for the audience. Let us see. Oh my God, he's so handsome. Wow, it's, damn. You know, it's been a while since quarantine that I've seen an attractive man. It's one of those things where you don't know how long it's been till you see it. And holy shit, that is one photogenic motherfucker right there. Just above the lip of the roof there. It's quite unusual to see a bird like that in town. Blimey. Oh. I think already this is a pretty good contrast to the character's viewpoints on life because while the main guy is just in awe of this bird in the middle of the street, she's just like, this bird just shot in my eye. There's nothing wondrous about that. And I'm on the girls team for that one. Thank you so much. I'll be with you on day. Okay. Get off the phone one. now. Okay. I she may be a bitch, but her outfit is really pretty and her earrings are really pretty. Oh, and her eyeliner too. Damn, Asian mom is on point. I'm assuming she's a mom because again, she might be the mom of the main guy. She might have lost her son a long time ago and that's why she's such a bitch. What if it turns out that these two characters are not related at all and they just happen to be two Asian actors in a movie and I was the one who made assumptions. Hi. Yeah. Hi, hi. Dude, he's totally a fucking ghost. How did no one even see him right there? Hmm, suspicious. Were you visiting your mom? Please tell me you were or else I'm gonna look really bad for assuming. Look, to be honest, you're not really my type. <gasps> why not? Why not? I genuinely wanna know, why not? Is it because he's dead? So what? Just look at Julie and the Phantoms. That didn't stop her. To be honest, you're not really mine. Not, why are you so mean to each other? And why are you not each other's types? I find that bullshit right there. Are you kidding me? She's fucking cute. You two might be liars, but I'm not afraid to admit that both of you are hot. And I would consider it a privilege to bang either one of you. Um, what do you mean? Yes, she's an Asian woman with a Christmas shop, so what? Maybe true equality is everyone culturally appropriating each other. Hmm? I think so. This whole video is gonna be so offensive, I'm sorry. I knew you liked him. Well, now I know. You like your men tall, shy, and translucent. Translucent? Not this white-on-white -white slander. Oh. oh no, she didn't lock the door. She's gonna get robbed. Shit. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. You've got the part. D don't need to... Oh, uh, sorry. No, 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 it was, uh, was shit. Oh my God, that's so mean. Dude, people in London are fucking rude. Whoa! Did you follow me here? No, I made a delivery here. Maybe he got a package he wants to deliver. Ayo! Actually, who are you? I'm Tom. Oh my God, he got so close to her. This pandemic has made me so lonely. Pretty cool though, isn't it? Sure, why not? I like hidden places. Has anyone ever told you there's something slightly serial killery about you? <laughs> Aw, they're cute. Why are you always dancing about? Uh-huh, and he's purposefully avoiding colliding into anyone because otherwise he would just pass through. I got this whole movie predicted already, and I'm still gonna cry like a bitch. I mean, it's very... Cool. 
You are so strange. You're so weird. Oh, he's so cute! This is so awesome! I'm so lonely! Oh, just my luck! I'm face blonde! Ah, so fun fact, in this scene, I actually have a cameo in the movie, guest starring as this garbage. I've seen this. I've seen what? Oh my god! Yeah? I've walked down the street so many times, I've never seen that before. Follow me. So he's basically her tour guide throughout the whole movie. Welcome to my secret little garden. I had no idea this existed. I had no idea you existed, Mr. Hot Ghost. I'll see you at the store. Okay. And don't forget, look up. Oh, for God's sake, shut up, will you? Oh, they're so cute. Look at this little leg flip. Little leg flip, because he has a crush on this girl. Oh, she blows him a kiss. Oh my God, he's so fucking cute. Mmm. Can't stand this wholesome shit. The entry and all that. Your house Santa. Oh, you know, fine. Not the shoes on the couch. The caucasity. You're living with people of color, okay? Let me tell you something about people of color. We do not allow shoes on our furniture or inside the house. You better take that shit off. Dude, that was me literally last night. Took a nap at 3 p.m. Woke up at 9 p.m., didn't know where the fuck I was. Dude, that plate looks dry as fuck. I do not blame her for getting the hell out of there. What is this, food for rabbits? <gasps> because the store got robbed, fuck. You forgot to lock up, don't deny it. Well, I can pay you back. No, she can't. Dude, that store looks expensive as fuck. This is a store that was made for white people, okay? This Asian lady knew the demographic that she was targeting, which means this shit is gonna be expensive. She preferred it when I was ill. You know, like it made her more important. Her eyebrows are so expressive. Like regular eyebrows are this, and hers are like. Can I help? Oh, he's so nice. I guess he has nothing better to do though, because he did. Ooh, he got that little black sweater. Hmm. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Check it out. What is it? Is that donkey actually smiling at me? Yeah. Oh my God. Shrek, come get your donkey. Let's go. I've got a surprise for you. You know, in real life, this is where he would kill her. Do that. No. Literally me trying to get over a tiny ass fence. Short girl problems. <laughs> You gonna kiss? You gonna kiss? What if it turns out? Sorry, I started eating halfway through the movie. What if it turns out that he wasn't a ghost the entire time, and the only reason why he was wearing the same damn clothes every day was because he was homeless? And I'm the asshole for assuming. For my sake, I hope he's dead. Be a pet and serve the teas while I get the soup sorted. Only two biscuits each. Watch this one, because last week he filled his pocket. Wait, that dude oh, is man. literally Tea's me up. whenever oh. there's food catered at my workplace. One time for Lunar New Year, we had a bunch of dim sum food and I literally stuffed my pockets with sesame balls. Just goes to show you can take the girl out of poverty, but you can't take the poverty out of the girl. Um, Tom, ex-grenadier. Lovely, um. Will I do? Do you know, actually, <gasps> Oh my god, they're so sneaky! Dude, that's fucking smart though. I like them. They know how to fucking hustle. Damn, I gotta take some notes next time my office is open. <laughs> I need to make an ally, split the goods. I've been working solo. No, thank you, but no. If Tom Webster does come in, could you just tell him that Kate needs to talk to him? Good luck. Why does it keep on flashing to that dude? He better not be the dude that she ends up with after she finds out that Tom is dead. We are not allowed to move on from here, okay? I mean, he is kind of cute, but I already got my heart settled on the dead dude. I'm sorry. Now she's wasting her life. Wasting my life, thanks, man. And you have job you dream of. Yeah, except that I didn't dream of it, did I? You did. Your dad can't be a lawyer here, so I had to be. No matter what I might have actually wanted to do. Damn, this family dinner is tense. Maybe she needs to get laid by a ghost. That's the solution here. That, that'll that be the solution to all your life's problems. Oh, I'm ashamed of who I am. What about you? Where's Alba? On your big celebration dinner, where is your girlfriend? Ooh, sapphic queen. Pack it up, happiest season. Alba? Alba is... 
And there's Marta's flatmate. Yeah, and that's how it's always gonna be. I bet she's really happy about that. Does she out her? Oh my God. Truly pack it up, happiest season. Dude, that's an asshole move. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Now you're getting cocky just because you're getting laid by a hot ghost? Not everyone has that privilege, okay? Where are you taking me? Home. Wait a minute. This is an actual home. Hmm. Is there a bedroom, perhaps? Are we finally gonna see if it's possible to get laid with a ghost? Dude, that's a tiny ass bed. I'm a mess. It's okay, girl. Me too. Kind of. In here. Me too, girl. Me too. When I was ill, it was a heart thing. I had a heart transplant. I don't tell people because they get weird. Where do you think you got that heart from? Hmm? Ooh, he gonna touch the booby? It's okay. <gasps> and he asked first? The bar is so low, but still. <gasps> He's touching the booby! He's touching right between the clivage. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, dude! I know this is supposed to be a meaningful moment between them, but dude! And they kept telling me I was lucky to be alive, but I didn't feel alive, I just felt half dead. You wanna talk about half dead? You're with a dead person right now. Read the room. You're the only person that makes me feel like, I don't know, solid, like, I exist. Huh. Funny you say that, because without him, oh, you wouldn't exist. Friend. I can't do anything. I think the whole special, being special thing is overrated. I think just to be a human being is hard, you know, really hard. That's so true. He's really telling her, you don't have to feel like you gotta be like not like other girls. Sometimes it's okay to be a basic bitch too. Being a basic bitch is hard. Existing is hard. Hey. Girl, shoes on the bed? Did we not learn from last time? He is an Asian man. That's even more of a foul. Sing me to sleep? I'm a terrible singer, really. Everyone can sing. Mm-mm, not me. You're the singer. If I sing a lullaby, Will you kiss me goodnight? Ooh, she kind of smooth. Put it in your heart and keep it. Listen, Listen to, to my simple story. story. Has the power to make you happy. Noise. 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 Oh my god, is she gonna raise money for the homeless shelter by singing? Good for you. Oh, I love it. I love that so much. What fun it is to write and sing a saying song tonight. I've never seen a girl happy for getting like a coin. Get your coin, literally. Yeah, no, well, that's not much. No, that's, that's an arrow of pure heart and soul. Stop trying to be so charming because I don't want to move on with you. You're cute and you have a nice smile, but this is just too soon. Aw, what a wholesome montage. She's getting so involved. This is so wholesome. Ah, uh, no, it's too early to cry. Dude, they could make a band. Make this a whole orchestra. Why is she hanging out with him? Mmm, I do not like this. Oh no. He's been avoiding her because he doesn't want her to feel attached to him. Oh, he's so handsome. No, it's too soon. It's too soon to cry. Gotta suck the tears back in. Oh my god. Mmm. I guess ghosts can kiss after all. Missing and kissing, it's almost like we're having a relationship. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's gonna pull back. Oh, no! Okay, there's something I've got to tell you. No! I'm not gonna heal my heart and then give it to someone who is going to break it. No, he gave his heart to you, and you're gonna break it, like right now. Could you just tell her that I'm very sorry? That I will probably never stop being sorry. It was still a very shitty thing for her to... Oh, by the way, I'm eating mangoes in the middle of the movie, too. It was very shitty for her to out her sister like that, but at least she is apologizing and saying that she will never stop being sorry, unlike some people on Happiest Season. Yeah, I'm still salty about that. 
dad knew you were happy. He just won't commit because he thinks I depend on him too much and he basically said that I'd made a career out of being a victim. I mean, he do got a point. That's a very common career for a white woman. Don't be mad just because he read you for accuracy. It's gonna be someone else. You know, when someone dies, it's a pain in the fundament. Who's died? My previous owner. Who? Uh, someone Webster, I think. A youngish bloke. Sad, really. It was last Christmas by all accounts. Oh my God, no, <laughs> no, no, I knew it, I knew it, I'm still crying anyway, no, oh my God, I can't deal with this, I can't deal with this, I'm just gonna eat my mango, we're gonna see that flashback scene, oh my God, bitch, she was alone the entire time, <laughs> This is the she was sitting by herself the entire time. <laughs> she was skating by herself the entire time. <laughs> oh, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. He's gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna cry my eyes out. Where can I feel you? Because I'm a part of you. Take care of my heart. I promise. It was always gonna be yours one way or another. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> oh, bitch! No, you can't just say that. You can't just say that, dude. Dude, I'm a fucking wreck. <laughs> oh my god, is that him? Oh, bitch! Ah! Why does he have to leave, though? If you can kiss a ghost, you can still bang a ghost. It's totally fine. <laughs> Now she's doing something meaningful with her life by helping others. <laughs> Last Christmas, I gave you my. Of course, of course, she's gonna sing this song. No, bitch, we're gonna do the flashbacks. No. Oh, they did make a band. Oh my god, this is so nice. Don't look at him. Don't look at him, it's too soon. Being nice to Elba, your girlfriend. Katerina, yes. before we eat lesbian pudding. Nice. I want to eat some lesbian pudding. I'm glad she can still laugh and smile and find joy in life. At least one of us can. I don't even know what to say. But at least she's happy. At least one of us is. Unsubscribe from my channel and goodbye. Last Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day you gave it away This year to save me from tears I'll give it to someone special